In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this animation from Iman Ghazi's recent video and all this will be edited inside Adobe After Effects. You can find all assets in the description, so without further ado, let's begin. Inside Adobe After Effects, I'm going to create a new composition and here set width to 1920 pixel and height to 1080 pixel and frame rate to, for example, 14 frames per second and duration is about 12 seconds and then click OK. And here in project panel, I'm going to import all my assets. First, I'm going to import this table image that we will be using for our animation. And here I'm going to click on this arrow and transform and then adjust scale so it fits on the screen. And the next thing that I want to do is import the many images, which I'll find on Envato Elements. I will leave a link in the description if you want to check out the assets that I'll be using throughout this video. So here in Envato Elements, you can adjust the angle of the image, for example, this angle here, and here you can select a PNG and select download this angle. And I'll do this for the other money image, and then we can start with the animation. So here I'm going to first import this dollar bill, and here I'll adjust scale, and I'll repeat this for this $50 bill pack, and here I'll also decrease scale, and adjust position. And I'll also copy this one. And for this one, I'll create a stack by copying and pasting it on top. And I'll do the final one on the right side. And here I'm going to create a triple stack. So now after we are done with the layout of our animation, I'm going to connect these money images to our background and then I'm going to connect that background to a null object which we will use to create a zoom in effect and also position transformation effect. First I'm going to select these money layers and here where parent and link section is I'm going to select shelf and wooden wall which is our background image. So this will ensure that we for example move our parent layer however we like, our images will also move with the background. But before we do that, I'm going to add a slight drop shadow to these images. So I'm going to zoom in on, for example, this bill here. And here in effects and presets, I'll type drop shadow and I'll drag it onto that layer. And here you can adjust the color of the shadow. For example, I'll leave it at black and maybe increase opacity to 63% and add a bit of distance. Now you can choose a direction you want. For example, I will adjust it to 180 degrees and I'll add softness, for example, at 93. And I'll copy this effect for these two layers. So apply this drop shadow only on the bottom a dollar bills and we can also adjust the drop shadow for this money stack and here you have a slight drop shadow effect and the next thing that i want to do is as i said previously create a null object which we will then connect to the background and then we will have a sort of controller which we can adjust and create zoom in and moving effect so right click on your mouse and create new and then null object. And I'll move it, for example, at the top and I'll rename it to controller. And I'm going to connect a background to the null object. So now let's move our controller. So this part is in the middle. But before we do that, we can also create a peel animation that you saw in Iman's video. And then we can, as a final step, animate a null object. So I'm going to import one more asset and I'm going to import it in my timeline. Now here I'm going to decrease scale, for example, like this. So let's start with this part here. I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to toggle the vision of this one over here. And let's rename it, for example, to copy. 
and I'm going to pre-compose this one here and you'll see in a second why I do this. So pre-compose and click OK. And I'm going to double click on it and here I'm going to create two black rectangles and on each I'm going to allow a transparency. So select these checkboxes and here in blending mode I'm going to select it to for example color burn and here to classic and I'm going to decrease opacity on both of these. So I'm going to change a black fill color to for example this dark blue and maybe as well as this layer here and to try and get a pink-ish color or blue-ish color. So what I did is I changed both of these layers to this blue color and here I set pen light and 34 opacity percent and below we set color burn and 48 percent. So the next thing that I want to do is here in effects and presets I type page turn and drag it on this composition here and here I'm going to change a light direction but before we do that I'm going to select it to classic UI and change a light direction for example to minus 95. Okay so we need to change also the fold direction to for example 120 degrees and this will allow our animation to turn out like this. So I'm going to create a fold position keyframe here and right click on your mouse and reveal in timeline and this will allow you to manipulate your keyframes in the timeline. So let's say that this animation will last one and a half second and here I'm going to create another keyframe and this position here will stay like this but we're going to go to the first keyframe and move our anchor point or indicator here or maybe closer like this. And then I'm going to press F9 on my keyboard in order to turn these keyframes into easy ease. And so far we have this fold animation. Now here in the back page, I'm going to set it to copy. What will this do is turn our back page into a different color. And in this case, it was a layer that we previously made. And in order to not be visible, you can toggle the vision of that layer. And now when you have your animation, you can select these two layers and pre-compose them to, for example, fold animation. And now you can copy and paste it as many times as you need. So I'm going to select it and copy three more times. And here in transform, adjust the position so it fits on the screen. So the next thing that I want to do is select these four fold compositions and connect them to our background image. And here I'm going to create a gap between these animations. So for example, at every two seconds or maybe two and a half seconds, I'm going to create an animation, but they need to go in a certain order. So next animation that will happen is this one here and we need to find it. So it's one over here and I'm going to move it at this point here. And the next will happen at let's say six second so move it at here and the final will happen at nine second for example next we're going to create the money number animation so here i'm going to create a tie box and here first type dollar sign and then one million dollars and here in character, I'm going to decrease the size, for example, like this and adjust the position or maybe increase here. And I'm going to adjust the position in transform. And here we can also change the color of the font to this grayish one. And when it comes to the font, I try to find the most similar one. And I found this more fear, which I'll also leave the link in the description if you want to check it out. The next thing that I want to show you is how to create a mask animation. So here, right click on your mouse and create a new mask. And here you can adjust the mask box, how much you want. And here I'm going to time it out like this. So mask and create a mask path keyframe here and go two seconds in maybe or maybe less and create another mask path keyframe and here 
and position, I'm going to create another set of keyframes. And here I'm going to adjust the position so it starts from here. But we will move the mask path at the beginning position. And here I'm going to play with the mask expansion, for example, increase it to 20, let's say 30, maybe, okay, so 23 pixels and mask feather to 34 pixels, or maybe mask expansion, decrease it to 11 pixels. And here I'm going to turn these keyframes into easy ease by selecting them and pressing F9 on the keyboard. And, and now you have money number animation. Now you can copy this text layer and paste it three more times. So now when you adjust these money appearing animations, you can also select them and parent them to the background image. And this part is finished. Now we can move on to the controller animation and also add other effects. So I'm going to move the controller once again to the top and here I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And here in effects and presets type CC vignette and drag it onto the adjustment layer. And here I'm going to increase amount to 810 and maybe increase also the angle of the view, maybe decrease the amount slightly like this. So after you create a CC vignette effect, you can go here in the background layer and increase scale and also readjust the position so it is on our starting point and maybe even increase scale a bit more. And here I'm going to first create beginning scale keyframe and maybe one and a half second in create another keyframe and which will slightly move our image back. And here I'm going to turn them into easy ease and open the graph editor where I'm going to only adjust the scale graph. So here I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and move this angle hand closer and this one also. And this will create this animation that you'll see right now. Next, I'm going to create a beginning position keyframe and let's say to till this point, I'm going to create our keyframe and move the controller so it's on the next money image. And I'm going to copy this keyframe and paste it here and the next at this point here, I'm going to move our controller onto the next money image. And again, I'm going to repeat the process by copying this keyframe. And for example, at this second here, we are going to move on to the last one. And so far, let's see how our animation looks like. So now, as you can see, we need to time the other three peel animations earlier. So for example, at this point, they need to start moving. So I'm going to bring this one closer. We solve this part and I'm going to also do the other ones. And here I'm going to shorten the fold animation for the last one, maybe even a bit more. So here I'm going to create a beginning and end opacity keyframes to smoothen out the appearing effect and also turn them into easy ease. So I'm going to bring opacity a bit further and this will slightly smoothen out the fold animation for the last money image. So as you can see, we need to also time the part where the digits appear. So for example, like this, maybe even earlier and I'll do for this one also. Now, as the final touch, we need to create a reddish background, which 
we will do when we create two red rectangles that are above our shelf layer. So for example, here, I'm going to turn the fill color to this darker red and let's move this layer at the bottom above our shelf layer. And here I'm going to change the blending mode to, for example, classic color burn. And maybe let's also copy this layer, paste it above and change it to dark. And here I'm going to turn it to normal and decrease opacity to 33 maybe. Next, we need to adjust the smoke that appears on the bottom and top and also particle effect. On the top, I'm going to import it on the timeline. So for this smoke video, I'm going to increase the scale, but move it at the bottom and set opacity to 27 and maybe also copy it and add a rotation. So at minus 180 and move the position so it's on the top like this and above all these layers add particles and for example set it to normal and decrease opacity to 24. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful please make sure that you leave a like and subscribe and until the next time bye!